Hello, hello, hello. So, you guys, I wanted to tape this. I want to document this. I'm actually in the hospital. Amen. On Sunday, matter of fact, you still see the IV is in my arms. This is the heart monitor. Amen. Amen. The heart monitor. Um, you guys, actually, I'm at St. Francis Hospital. So you guys on Sunday, on Sunday, um, I had an encounter. I had an encounter. Um, I've never had this encounter before. Um, you guys forgive me my hair. I'm actually still in the hospital. As you guys can see, I'm still in the hospital. And I wanted to come and give a quick testimony. On Saturday, God took me, well, son, yeah, Saturday. On Saturday, God took me in a room that was so deep that um I started calling names out. I started calling um numbers and some in prophecy some direct things that no one they know that no one could ever tell me. I was doing this Proverbs group and even on church on that Sunday, you know, it was God was taking me deep into a rim I've never seen or done before. So it was coming to Charleston, South Carolina. We actually were going to Burlington Corn Factory. And what happened was um I, all I remember, you know, if, at the time, it felt like I was going over a bridge. You know how you're going up in the air in, in an airplane and it feel like you're grasping, you know, it feel like you're, it feel like, um, like your air is popping, popping because of how you go up, how you elevate, the more, you know, your air start popping. So, so that's on Sunday, I was, I was going, we were riding and I felt like I was going up, going up and I saw this big, bright light. It was like a... You know, the galaxy, like the skies open, it was so bright that I couldn't even contain it. I couldn't contain the light. And as he was taking me up and as I was going higher, I literally heard the voice. It was a still small voice. And, uh, and I'm thinking, and I'm saying it was God. It was a still small voice. And it was saying, it was saying, your name, your name, your name, your name is being called. Your name is being called. Your name is being called. And then I immediately, I began to say, I return to sender, I return to sender, I return to sender. He said, your name is being called. He said, witchcraft. He was saying things like that. And he was saying, and then he said, he began to call certain people name. I'm not going to share it in the video. But he began to call their name of who had their mouth on me. And he was, and as he was telling me and talking to me, and he said, you know, and taking me higher, higher, higher. And the light was getting bright, brighter and brighter and brighter. So I couldn't even contain the light. That's how it was. And I'm like, oh my God. And and I remember, and then I remember being like, I was going higher. He was talking. And the more he was talking to me, he was becoming more. And I was like, but it felt like a great feeling, a great sensation. It was a peace. Amen. And then and then, and the light was getting so bright. And I so then now I remember like coming, I remember being like snatched back. Like I was snatched, drawn back. And I was snatched back. And then when I was snatched back, I looked up and I was, I asked Apostle Curse. I said, um, Curse, my husband, I said, where are we? And vomit was all over me. Wasn't even aware of any of that. Um, and then I, when we got to, I was at the hospital. And he was telling me, he said, he, he, Curtis said, my husband, he said, you were looking, like, like I was looking at him, but like I was looking through him. And he said, he started speaking and um, he started praying. And he started praying in English, and then he switched it. He started praying in tongues, and he began to pray in tongues. He said his tongues even began to switch, and he said as his tongues was was being switched, and he said then I was like, <gasps> you know, as my new CPR, like, <gasps> and he said my breath, and as my breath came back into my body, my spirit came back in my body. He said I began to vomit. Now this stuff I was not even aware of. It was more uh, maybe five to six, seven minutes. Got to the merge, got to, the, we were here and they took me in the back. Immediately I'm looking like, what's going on? I'm like, what happened? What's going on? What's going on? Because all I remember was the going up, being taken up in the sky and seeing the bright light. And I'm like, what's going on? And they was like, you you literally died. They saw my, my hand was pale. And as you can see now, I got some vegetable on my tongue now. The whiteness are coming back, you know, the white, they said literally, you know, you had left here. I got like pale. And I mean, it's just something about that, having that experience, that 
that deaf experience and being snatched back and being, but it makes me want to go harder. Amen. And I'm excited. I wanted to shoot this video about it. Amen. And I began to contact me, my spiritual covering and things of that nature to begin to tell me, you know, what that meant and things like that. But I'm excited. Amen. About my husband. He, he, you know, he called that spirit back inside of me and just, it was just so peaceful. You know, as I was being taken up and I saw the light and he said, my light, my eyes got so big, like I saw something and I, it was the glory of God, you guys. And the glory of God, it was so powerful. Amen. It was so powerful and it was so bright. I couldn't even contain it, but it gets me to go harder. So I'm not afraid because I know he's with me. I'm not afraid because he is here. He's real. Your Elohim is real. He is so real. He is so real. Amen. And you guys continue to be great. Continue to serve the most high God. And actually, I've been here since Sunday. Today is now Tuesday. It's, I was here on March 31st. And I've been checked out on April 2nd, 2019. So you guys, that's it. This is my testimony. You guys be great. Continue to press in into the things of Most High. Amen. Remember, we are spirit first before we are fleshly. Amen. So I'm excited. I'm going to go out so they can come on and take this out of my arm. And I can go. And they're like, they're shocked. And they're like saying, you got to stay. We got to observe you. We got to see what's going on. Things of that nature. And my blood, they said my blood levels had already dropped to like a four. A four. Amen. So you guys, excuse my hair. Amen. I'm still at the hospital, but I'll be leaving out in a couple of hours. I love you guys. You guys be great. I'm out. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Love you guys. I'm out.